Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a massive haul video for you guys and this is definitely a collective haul from the past couple months. There's some Christmas things in here, some hearth and hand things in here, some just good home decor stuff in here. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I wanna show you guys is this gorgeous pillow. I was looking for pillows for the chairs in our living room and I really love how it's this deep blue. Like this, this is like the true color of it, like back here, if you see it in real life. The, the lights make it bright, but it's velvet with this beautiful fringe on the side. And I love how it makes a really nice pop with my neutral decor. And it's no secret, I love blue and white. My mom collected blue and white, like the real, like the real collector stuff. That's what she has a bunch of it. It's gorgeous. All of us kids kind of inherited that love as well. So I like how this brings that in. We also got, or I got this, um, both of these things at a boutique in Nashville. And I asked the lady, I was like, do you guys have a website? And she said that they're gonna start one in November. So I'm gonna go and see if it's up and if so, link it below. Cause I asked her because I want you guys to get this up too if you like it, you know? So anyways, I got this throw as well from the same boutique and I love it. I love the pattern. I love the, the fact that it's blue and white, but the thing I like the most, oh, look at this. Oh, they look so good together. It just it coordinates really well. So I'm gonna throw, I get it, it's a throw, I'm gonna throw. Anyways, I'm gonna throw this over here. So that will be the stuff that you guys saw. Since we're on the blue and white kick, I'll go ahead and show you this. I got this from Hobby Lobby. It's a little coffee canister. They had one that said sugar and one that said tea. And I got the coffee one. I think it is so adorable. I think it's gonna look so cute in my coffee cabinet or even on my coffee bar, of course. Oh, let me show you the hearth and hand items that I got from Target because who else shopped there? If you did, comment below what you got. I wanna know what you got. So the first thing I got was this. This is one of the first things I saw and it's one of those things to where I saw it and I immediately said, I love that, I want it. I don't always feel that way about certain items. This is one of those items that I knew I could just use over and over again. And then the second thing I got, cause I only got two things. I know, only two things. But the thing is, is her Christmas decor wasn't the color scheme I was really going for and I have very specific things that I want. But anyways, I got this tissue paper because number one, I need the tissue paper. Number two, I just love it. Okay, another thing I got was, this was up in Tennessee, my very first antique ball blue jar. Isn't that beautiful? My mom has a whole collection of these. She has big ones, little ones, and I asked her one day if I could get them after she passes away one day, which I hope it isn't morbid. But you know what she said? She said, oh, your sister already claimed them. I was like, what? Can't you just like give me two or something? Like one? <laughs> but no, my sister already has a wall. So I'm gonna keep on working on her, but I figured in the meantime, I'll work on my own collections. I've also been to Michael's, and Michael's, I just proves their their clearance section of all their fall decor I was looking for Christmas decor. Go figure. Anyways, I found these, they're like these mercury glass jars and they have, they both have a screw top on it. And right now the screw top's put up, so that's why it's not on here. It was originally $30. I don't know if you could see that. I got it for 80% off. So while Mike and I were at Tennessee, we found the best home shops and we did a little book coffee book shopping. So one coffee book we got was this one. It's this cookbook actually by Gwyneth Paltrow. And when we flipped through it, Mike was like, everything looks good and we can eat everything in here. I did make her, her tahini dressing recipe today and it was really delicious. I definitely recommend this. There's just good recipes and it's a beautiful book. The other book I got was this Southern, what is it? The Southern, the Southerner's Cookbook. Honestly, guys, I just got it for the look. The recipes itself to me are kind of like eclectic Southern. I just think it's a beautiful book. So this just looks good in my kitchen. Another coffee table book that I got is actually on my coffee table. You guys are gonna love this. Look, and look at the spine. Oh, wow. So when this is displayed on my coffee table, it just looks stunning. 
filled with beautiful pictures of homes and inspiration on the inside. So I love, I love this book. My mom and I were shopping at Kirkland's a couple months ago. We came across these. What do you guys call these? They're like wooden, they could be like lots of things. It could be like a wooden tray, it could be like a coaster, it could be like a placemat, you know? They had these at Kirkland's for $12.99 and they were like 50 or 60% off. So I ended up getting like six of them. My dad is actually building me a dining room table right now and it should be done very shortly after Thanksgiving. So I wanna set a Christmas table and use these as the placemat. I also let you guys know on Instagram when these were on sale. Like when I found these on Kirkland's and they were on sale, I let everyone know on Instagram. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, you should. This was a find. You guys are gonna love this. Okay, I got this from QVC. It's this beautiful, lantern you guys this is great quality it's made to be outside and in florida this is a dream come true because even sometimes the outside ones still rust they still do terrible this is resin so it won't rust this is completely durable this is glass and all the candles inside are waterproof and everything and they have a timer on them a timer i got three of them they were under 40 dollars to get a lantern this substantial this beautiful under forty dollars that's waterproof and has a timer inside i mean you can't buy the candles for that it's just crazy yeah they sold out of my color though but they'll be getting more in january they do have an antique white one right now that you may want to go and check out so if you want white you can buy that right now but i'm gonna link it below you guys are gonna love this too i mean I got some good stuff, what can I say? Claude Monet is my favorite artist. I love impressionism. On top of that, I'm a gardener. I love gardening. And on top of that, I was telling my mom that Claude Monet has this beautiful saying that says, I must have flowers always and always. And I was telling her that I just love that saying by him. Well, she went, she found this incredible lady on Etsy and had this sign made for me, custom made for me. Can you believe that? She got this for me for my birthday, the best birthday present ever. I just can't even believe it. I'll link the lady that made this below. This sign is so well made, and I even like how she used, I don't know if you can see, but the flat nail heads. Isn't that neat? I love it. It has, has this little thing on there so you can hang it. Thank you, mom, thank you. Oh, Christmas stuff, okay. This is good, this is good. You guys, are, you guys are gonna love this, okay. Every year I pick a Christmas tree theme and I do that because growing up, my mom did that every year and sometimes we even made the ornaments for the trees. And to me that's super sentimental. Like I love the fact that I can carry on that tradition of doing a different Christmas tree theme every year because my mom did it. So I know some people don't think it's sentimental but I think it's super sentimental. Anyways. This is gonna be my Christmas tree theme this year. I got some on clearance last year from Target, but it wasn't it wasn't nearly enough to do what I want to do with the tree, so I definitely got more this year. And I think that the colors are stunning with the silvers, mercury glass, and then this bronzy brown color. Very pretty. To go with it, I also got these. This is the only box of these that I got. I might get more, but aren't these gorgeous mercury glass and white? Because I wanna put pops of white balls in here because I already have white balls. And I just think that will be like sparkly and snowy and bronzy. And then, because I don't have any Christmas balls to call my tree at all, I wanna kind of start that collection. And I got these brown ones from Michaels. Oh, these ones are Target, if you didn't know. These ones are from Michaels. But they, don't they look great together? There you go. Isn't that pretty? Oh. I'm so excited. Another Christmas item I got was from my grandmother. So basically, my grandparents are downsizing and they gave me some really lovely things because they won't have a place for it in their smaller home. And one thing she gave me was her Christmas plates. Isn't this beautiful? It's just so classy and elegant. Here's the back of it so you guys can see. And here's a dinner plate and it comes with four mugs. It's a set of four, which is perfect because our table isn't gonna be huge because our dining room isn't huge. Now, I have this up here. Remember this? Look at this. Let's, I kind of wanted to put it together so you can kind of see what, what it's gonna look like because I think it's gonna be stunning. Oh, isn't that neat? I love the mix of the rustic with the classy and elegant. It's just so pretty. Look at this. Oh, oh, look at this. 
I'm just playing around. Playing around, we can kind of play around and piece it together, you know. Okay, 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 so we have, we have my Christmas tree. And then we're gonna have my Christmas table, right? With the wood, which brings in the brown and the bronze, and then you have the silver and the white and the plates. Oh, whoop, that looks so pretty. I'm really excited now. You can see me again. Another thing that my grandmother gave me were these beautiful bronze little vases, and they're painted on with enamel. It's a Japanese technique, and she told me what the name of this was, but I forgot, so I'm gonna have to text her and ask her what it is. I love these, super sweet. Now, there's a few things that I got that I can't show you on here, so I'm gonna take the camera around and show you guys. But the first thing we got were birch logs from Amazon. If you are looking for birch logs, get them on Amazon because they're the cheapest that I've seen for birch logs. And on top of that, they are really substantial and thick and just a great quality birch log. So I was looking for some because I'm gonna put them in a basket for my Christmas decor. If you're looking for birch logs, I'll put the link below. Another thing we got were, was this Christmas tree from Hobby Lobby. It's flocked, it's beautiful, it's a six foot tree. It's the perfect hike to put in front of our tombstone window upstairs so we can plug it in and you can see the glow of the lights on the Christmas tree from the window to the street. It just looks absolutely stunning. I would say it's not like the best quality, the flocking does come off. I would say it coincides with the price and I'm pretty happy with it, it's really easy to put together. Another thing I got, this is amazing. Thank you, Wendy Bentley. She told me about King of Christmas because I followed her on Instagram and her decor is amazing. So if you don't follow her, please do so. I'll put her link down below. Tell her that I sent you. She has the most gorgeous King of Christmas Christmas tree and wreath. So I decided to go ahead and get a King of Christmas wreath this year and I'm so happy I did. It is incredible quality the flocking on it doesn't fall off it's like it's like stayed on there and it's pre-lit the lining is just gorgeous and distributed evenly i absolutely love it it's worth the price it was my first flocked anything i highly recommend king of christmas i also want to get now a green wreath that they have the last thing i got was an antique sleigh mike and i have been looking for one over a year now we finally found one in an antique shop with my grandparents in georgia which that was just the icing on the cake so this is something that we know we'll enjoy every christmas for years and years to come Woo! I'm exhausted. Are you guys tired? That's finally it. I know I've been talking forever. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you watched it while you were like cleaning or getting ready or something and it was somewhat entertaining. Subscribe to my blog. Like this video. Subscribe to me here if you don't want to subscribe to my blog. That's fine with me. I want to have you either way and i'll also put my instagram and social media down below but come back because i have lots more christmas videos to come so i'll see you soon in my next video bye